Hi, my name is Mike Lapitan with Wonderware NorCal. Thanks for joining us for our video on how to modernize your InTouch application with Orchestra Graphics. Wonderware InTouch is the market leading HMI software. It's been around since 1987, and now the Orchestra Graphics library is embedded inside of Window Maker, so allowing existing InTouch users and customers familiar with Wonderware InTouch to take advantage of the latest and greatest graphics. So we'll take a look at the benefits of Orchestra Graphics and do a demo on how to use Orchestra Graphics inside of Window Maker. So introducing InTouch modern applications, it's the power and benefit of Orchestra Graphics with the traditional ease of use with Wonderware InTouch. So here's a screenshot with Orchestra Graphic toolbox embedded inside of Window Maker. And we also have the ability now to convert existing InTouch windows into Orchestra Graphics or Orchestra Symbols. So I'll show you how to do that. So I use Orchestra Graphics. Well, for one, Orchestra Graphics allow you to create custom properties which don't count against your license tag count. They promote reusability and change propagation to increase engineering efficiency. So I'll show you how, what that looks like. There's more advanced graphics and animations available, really engaging the operator to run the plant safely, reliably, and effectively. .NET controls and .NET scripting is available for those advanced programmers. And we now support vector-based graphics with Orchestra Graphics. So that means they scale really well, regardless if you want to run your InTouch application in a browser, on an iPad, on a touchscreen, or a widescreen TV. The window will automatically resize very nicely. And there's additional graphics libraries that are available for free, including the Situational Awareness Library and the Water and Wastewater Graphics Library. I'll show you an example of the Situational Awareness Graphics Library. So it gives existing InTouch users a path to migrate into the future and, and leverage the, the latest graphics capabilities with InTouch. So let's take a quick look here at Situational Awareness Graphics. So this is a new library included with uh, InTouch. And so we can see some examples here of how to build an effective operator display, really limiting the use of color only to when if there's an alarm, we need to alert the operator's attention. So we see a yellow alarm border around some different areas of our plant that we need to focus our attention on. So it really alerts the operator that we need to drill into this particular area of the plant so that we can go ahead and then make the appropriate decisions and actions. That's just a couple more example dashboards here of what orchestra graphics and situational awareness graphics look like. Let's take a look at some additional Orchestra Graphics. This is our Reactor demo. So all these graphics, again, are out of the box, included with InTouch. These tanks and valves and pumps and dis displays are all included as part of the InTouch and graphics library now. So let's look, take a look at how to use these. I'm going to go ahead and open up InTouch Application Manager, which is what we've had forever. And if I want to create a new InTouch application, it now, by default, creates a modern InTouch application, which gives me Orchestra Graphics inside of Window Maker. If I had a legacy InTouch application, here's a 10.6 application. If I wanted to upgrade that, I would simply double click on it like I normally would, and that would upgrade it to the current version and now give me Orchestra Graphics. So let's go ahead and take a look at an application I've already upgraded. I'm going to go ahead and open up Window Maker here. What we'll see is the Orchestra Graphic Toolbox right inside of Window Maker and we can convert some existing InTouch windows to orchestra symbols. Okay, so here we are inside of Window Maker. Here's my old legacy reactor display. You can see the difference compared to the reactor display that uses orchestra graphics. Now if I wanted to convert this, simply right click on it and click convert to orchestra symbol. And so I've already done that and what I've, I've done now here, I've got the toolbox available for orchestra graphics. I can see that I've got my reactor display window now converted to an orchestra symbol. And so now I've got all of the power of the orchestra symbol editor and graphics available. Now this existing InTouch window is vector based and I've got all of the tools and graphic capabilities of orchestra graphics now with my existing window. So let's go ahead and create a, a new window. And we'll just call this new. And let's embed some orchestra graphics in there. So here's my orchestra graphic toolbox. I can see that I've got some really nice looking meters and buttons, pipes and pumps and valves. 
and vessels just to quickly look at some of these. And then of course, here's my reactor window. I've got my situational awareness library as well. And so I'll go ahead and start embedding some tanks here. I'll go ahead and take my stainless steel tank here and drag it over to my window. And if I double click on it, I can see the custom properties where I can assign the tag to the value. So I'll go ahead and open up my InTouch tag name dictionary and embed dollar sign second to the animation here. I'll change the max value from 100 to 60. Click OK. And if I go into runtime, I can see what that graphic looks like now in runtime. Okay. So there's my tank assigned to my dollar sign second. So let's take a look at the next step of how orchestra graphics can really reduce engineering time. I'm gonna go ahead and embed that same tank a second time. I'm going to assign it a different tag. I'm going to assign it to dollar sign minute. The max value again is going to be 60. Click OK. So now I've got two tanks assigned to the same tag. And now let me go ahead and open up the parent graphic template here. So I'm going to open up my tank in the symbol editor. I'll go ahead and edit this tank by adding an additional graphic. So I'll add an analog meter here to my tank. And I'll save and close. And now the two tanks that I have embedded in my InTouch application both get propagated down with the new meter graphic. So again, now I've got the custom properties for my meter and I can assign that to the appropriate tag, assign that to dollar sign second. Change the max value to 60. And we'll do the same with our second tank. And change this one to dollar sign minute. And then let's go ahead and put this into runtime. Perfect. Great, so if we ever wanted to now add a third tank here, there's our third tank, and it also has the meter now. Okay, so we just looked at how to create a new InTouch modern application, how to modernize existing InTouch windows, and how to get started with Orchestra Graphics. So I'd like to thank you for joining us for our video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us, webinar at norcal.wonderware.com or 866-WONDERN. Thank you very much.